Hey everyone, it's Mike from the SEO Pub. And in the last video, I was talking about some indexing strategies using footer links and how you can use the footer, leverage your footer to get some pages that are important to you, index, crawled and, and indexed by search engines. Um, we talked about uh, specifically about Upload, um, how ClickUp and both ClickUp and Notion are doing this to index these compare pages where they have pages that compare them versus primary competitors that these pages don't necessarily fit in their, their primary navigation it's not a good fit up here but you still want to get them crawled you still want to get them indexed so this is a, a great place the footer down here gives some signals to search engines if every page on a website is linking to this page that page is probably has some sort of importance we should probably index it and it's just a great way to get content indexed i mentioned that notion's doing the exact same thing they have uh, compare pages. They also have these switch. So if you're switching from Evernote, switching from Asana, switching from Confluence, again, these pages don't necessarily make sense to put into their navigation, but they still want to make sure that they're getting indexed. So they stick them in the footer and link to them from there. Now you can take this idea a step further. One thing I've seen a lot of people posting about in forums and Facebook groups is a lot of people are trying to leverage AI to create a lot of content quickly. You know, AI lets us uh, not slow down by how many writers you have anymore. With AI, you can push out 100, 200, 1,000 pages pretty quickly and get them published right away. The challenge that people are having, though, is they're pushing out 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pages, but they're finding that only 100 are indexed or you know, 50 are getting indexed. Or sometimes they're, a lot of them are getting indexed, but then a few weeks later only 20% or 30% remain indexed. I've been using this idea for a long time, um, even before AI, to get lots of pages indexed and keep them indexed. But now with AI, it's it's become, on certain projects where we're pushing out a lot of content, it's become an even more useful strategy. So I've mentioned before, I've shared the, the New York Times, how they use HTML sitemaps. And this is what you can do. So they have this sitemap that's linked to in their footer. So every single page is linking to it. So it's likely to get crawled by search engines. And it takes you just to a, a plain HTML sitemap, which this will follow to every single article the New York Times has ever published back to 1851. So you can pick any year here. Then you get another HTML sitemap for that year with the month. Pick the month, pick the day. And these are all the articles that were published on that day in the New York Times. And all of these pages are indexed. You won't find any of these articles that are not indexed. Another great example, Airbnb. So Airbnb has all these location pages. And I know this comes up a lot in local SEO where people want to create location pages for a local business, but they seem to have trouble getting them indexed. They have trouble either getting them indexed or keeping them indexed. Airbnb figured this out a long time ago and you won't find many of these pages that are not indexed. But if you go down here, they have, they just call it sitemap. It looks spammy. I don't love the way Airbnb does it, but they have destinations. They have uh, sorted by categories. These are all just different HTML sitemaps. Um, if you want to stay by type. So if you want apartments with a hot tub, you want beachfront rentals, you want house rentals with a pool, uh, houseboats, stays by location and type. Um, they have experiences. They, so they have all these destination pages and that the way that they get them indexed is just having this HTML sitemap, which it's just hundreds of links and it goes on and on. And then they have, you know, another 150 that you can go to and it's just linking to all these. Again, they link to it from, they link to it in the footer and then they have just these links following to other pages of links. Now, Airbnb has some pretty decent authority, obviously, so they're more likely to get crawled, they're more likely to get crawled a little deeper. Um, something like at, at this size, this scale, is gonna work a little better for Airbnb than a brand new site. But you can still use this, you know, if you have a thousand pages and you can split it up into a few categories that you want to get indexed, but you don't necessarily want to link to it from your navigation or, you know, directly on the homepage, you can create a sitemap like this in your footer just to help search engines discover these pages, get them crawled, 
again, the site map's being linked to from every single page on the site. So it's likely to get crawled. It's likely to get indexed. And then they're usually, search engines will usually follow it, you know, at least one to two more links deep, um, even on a new site and index those pages as well. Another great example, I've shared this one before too, is PC Insurance. This is a Canadian insurance company and they have a sitemap here and they sell um, homeowners insurance. Auto insurance is a big thing for them. And what they do is auto insurance is, is huge. They have all these city pages for auto insurance. They're almost identical pages. They, they swap around some headers, you know, and change city names. They'll, they'll have, you know, slightly different sections in a few of them, but they have a, basically like seven categories they use, and they pick five of those seven for each of these pages. All of them are indexed because they're just using this sitemap, and the sitemap's linked from the footer in every page. They have the same thing for over here for the home insurance. You won't find any of these pages that are not indexed and they could go much larger with this you know this is something with probably like a hundred pages on here but just like the new york times and airbnb examples you can go a lot bigger with this another example i've shared before is uproad so uproad is a application that lets you pay tolls with an app on your phone and what they did is i shared this idea before where they're, they're kind of using SEO to create a market. It's, it's actually pretty neat. They created pages for all the toll points that they service, that, that you can use their app for, because there's a chance that people are looking for information about that toll. Um, probably pricing is you know, most likely what they're looking for is how much the toll costs. But what they did is they created this sitemap. Now they call it all, all toll points, but all it is, it's an HTML sitemap. So it has all the tolls in California, Delaware, Florida that they service and it goes on by you know the states that they're in they're just real simple pages and just selling their uh their app here but all these pages are indexed so if, if you try to search for a lot of these tolls by name you'll find mm -hmm. upload ranking there and they get a, a lot of traffic from this and it's been really successful for them and the way that they did it again yeah, this is some. This would be something they did this years ago before ChatGPT came out. It'd be something really easy to duplicate now with ChatGPT. You could easily create pages like this um, and have ChatGPT generate it, and then you just create an HTML sitemap like this to get all those pages indexed. So if you have a lot of pages to index, so let's say you're one of those people who's using AI right now to push out a thousand pages, two thousand pages, you know, or more, I would take the Airbnb example and do something similar. I wouldn't do it quite this spammy, but take the idea that they have about creating categories. So I would create an HTML sitemap that's then split up into separate categories and then have the categories linking to those pages that, that you want to get indexed. And it's a really efficient way just to get everything on your site crawled and indexed. So if you have any questions about that, drop them in the comments down below. Again, if you haven't already, head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the email list there where I send out tips like this every single week. And I'll catch everyone in the next video.